While Europe is putting Russia in a difficult economic situation with comprehensive sanctions due to the Ukrainian war, the Kremlin administration is also taking counter steps, deepening the energy crisis in Western countries. Finally, Gazprom announced that it had stopped natural gas shipments destined for Italy, with which it had conducted numerous energy sector cooperation before the war. The Italian company ENI announced that shipments for October have stopped, while it will become clear in the coming days whether the gas flow will start again. Gazprom reported that technical negotiations with the ENI company on the continuation of shipments are ongoing while another statement from the company on the same day stated that shipments to Moldova have been reduced by about 30 percent. Accusing Moldova of violating its obligations under natural gas contracts, Gazprom warned that if this situation continues, it may completely stop natural gas shipments to Moldova. Shipments had stopped first to Poland and Bulgaria. According to the new ruble pay system announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin on March 23, Countries that buy Russian gas must open accounts with Gazprom Bank and pay to this bank, and then the funds in question must be converted to rubles on the Moscow Stock Exchange. Paying April, Gazprom, the main supplier of natural gas to Europe as of 2021, stopped the flow of gas to Poland and Bulgaria on the grounds that they did not make payments in rubles. Poland's dependence on Russian gas stood at 40% last year while the country relies on natural gas delivered by pipelines from Norway and liquefied natural gas, LNG, supplies, mainly from the United States, to get rid of this dependence. Bulgaria, whose dependence on Russian gas is at the level of 90%, imported 3.3 billion cubic meters of natural gas from Russia last year. Some officials in Bulgaria argue that negotiations should be held with Russia for the resumption of gas shipments. Gazprom also stopped shipments to some energy companies supplying Finland, the Netherlands, Denmark, Latvia and Germany on the grounds that they did not comply with the pay system in question after these two countries. Shipments via Nord Stream 1, one of the important lines from which Russia sends natural gas to Europe, were stopped on August 31. Nord Stream 1 is known as one of the important lines carrying Russian gas to Europe, as well as the Yamal Europe pipeline and pipelines in Ukraine. Due to the leaks on Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 last week, Russia accuses some Western countries, especially the United States, of organizing sabotage on the lines. The Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, which Gazprom built with plans to reroute most of the natural gas it sends to Europe via Ukraine, had been idle due to sanctions even before it was put into operation. Another pipeline of Gazprom, Yamal Europe, which has a critical role in the shipment of natural gas to Europe, is also no longer used. The Yamal Europe pipeline is known as one of the important lines carrying Russian gas to Europe, as well as pipelines in Ukraine and the Nord Stream pipeline. Gazprom announced that it will no longer use the Polish part of the Yamal Europe pipeline after the developments. Gazprom representative Sergei Kuprianov said on May 10 that they had been informed that Ukraine would stop buying Russian gas from the natural gas distribution point called Soronovka. Russia was shipping 30% of the gas it sends to Europe through Soronovka, located in the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine and with a daily capacity of about 30 million cubic meters. With the closure of the entry point in question, the amount of natural gas sent by the company to Europe via Ukraine decreased by 54% to 41 million cubic meters compared to May 10 as of yesterday. Empty hearts and neon lights 